hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see my hair is pretty dry and it is in need of some life-giving treatments also as i'm about to show you guys i'm really kind of frustrated right now because my scalp look at this you guys my scalp is still tripping out it has been super itchy super dry and i just have flakes like the size of new york city in my scalp oh it itches so bad i'm so frustrated so what i'm gonna do today is show you guys one of the things that i do when my hair just needs some life back into it and my scalp just seems to be tripping out i am going to show you guys an apple cider vinegar rinse First thing I'll do is part my hair into four separate sections as normal. I never wash my hair in one big section, you guys, because it'll get way too tangled. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first section up with the clip. And then after that, I'm just going to keep parting it. I'm going to get the back section and get that up into a clip. And I just take the hair and I roll it around and twist it up and clip it so that it's pretty compact so it doesn't get in my way when I'm doing other parts of my hair. I'm gonna put the back left section of my hair now into a clip. As you guys see, my hair is still pretty long even though I shaved my sides, but uh, it just has so much dandruff. So I'm putting the back section up into a clip And I just roll that and get it out of my way. I'm going to start with this front section here. And I'm going to take Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. And also going to take a spray bottle with some water in it. And what I do is I put one part apple cider vinegar. And so I just shake it up to make sure it's not settled at the bottom or anything like that. And I'm going to put one part of that inside of my little spray bottle carefully pouring it in measuring it out honestly really just with my eyes and then for the rest you guys I'm gonna put a little more and then for the rest you guys I'm gonna put two parts water now people do this all different kinds of ways if you try this on your hair and you realize that it was too much apple cider vinegar you can use less or you can use more it really just depends on you but I wouldn't use too much apple cider vinegar I would never use more than one third of a small spray bottle also the reason why I use this much is because I do apple cider vinegar rinses very rarely and so that's what the mixture looks like. And I'm just going to put the cap back on, screw it on tightly. And then I'm going to make sure I shake my bottle up so it all mixes in together really well. I moved my rug out of the way so that way I didn't spill any apple cider vinegar on it because you guys know this stuff smells pretty strong. All right, so now what I'm going to do is start to spray the apple cider vinegar onto my scalp and rub it in. And you guys, while I'm doing this, let me tell you some benefits to use the apple cider vinegar. Number one, it'll restore pH balance back to your hair. It's also antimicrobial, which means if there's any type of fungus or any type of infection going on, the apple cider vinegar will greatly help that. I use this usually for buildup, but it also helps dandruff, and that's the reason why I'm using it right now. I don't really have too much buildup because I've been shampooing my hair pretty regularly, but I'm hoping that, you guys, this is going to help me with that really dry scalp that I've been having. The apple cider vinegar should get any unwanted product off of my scalp. And it should help if I have any type of like scalp infection or anything going on. And it should help with the itchiness and the dryness. Once again, you don't want to use too much apple cider vinegar because if you do then it can make your hair drier and more brittle. But if it's used every once in a while and you don't use too much, for me, this works so perfectly. I use this every time my hair just needs to get that clean, lifted feeling as if I were to do like a bit night clay mix. 
but I honestly, you guys, don't use bentonite clay on my hair anymore because it just doesn't work very well for me. So this is just going to give me a fresh, clean palette of hair, but also a fresh, squeaky, clean scalp. And hopefully it's going to help with my dandruff. So I just make sure that most of that section is saturated and I just really scratch my scalp to bring up any particles of skin or any dryness or any unwanted things. I make sure I part it so that when I spray the apple cider vinegar and water mixture onto the hair, it gets way down into my scalp. As you guys see, it kind of looks white. That's just some of the product buildup and stuff coming up. And I just keep spraying my scalp and rubbing that into the scalp. Ugh, it feels so good. You see the white, you guys? That's just old product coming off of my hair. Now it does, It's. I will say it's going to tingle a little bit. It might even sting a little bit depending on if you have any cuts or anything on your scalp. But also apple cider vinegar, just like regular vinegar, it has that in it where it might just sting your scalp a little bit. So once again, that's why you want to make sure you don't use too much of it. I'm just parting my hair and making sure I get all up in there, you guys. Getting all up in my scalp. It also just feels really satisfying to scratch my scalp that much. So after I'm done with this, I'm going to twist this section of my hair up and I'm going to repeat that same step over all four sections of my hair. I'm not going to record that part because honestly, you guys don't need to see that because it's not important. But once again, I'm just going to spray the scalp on all the other sections and then what I'm going to do is rinse it out. Also, let me just say, I wanted to let you guys know, since my sides are shaved, I just made sure I give those a little bit of extra attention as I'm finishing up scratching all parts of my scalp. I wanted to make sure that I don't neglect those, even though they're going to get cut again soon. And now I'm finished with all four sections of my hair. And the next step for me is going to be to rinse all of it out in the shower and shampoo and condition as regular. All right, guys, so I'm back. I've rinsed my hair out, and I just want to show you guys what my scalp looks like now. It feels really good. And as you can see, I'll give you a little close-up. My scalp looks really clear. Now, you're going to see a couple little random flakes in there. My hair is so curly sometimes when I'm washing it. If I don't brush it out in the shower, there's like little random things trapped in my hair. But I always get that out when I'm brushing it because the next step for me to do is detangle it and go ahead and get my cream and everything and my oils on my hair as well so I can twist it and do my weekly twist out. But my scalp is really clean and it's feeling really good. So I'm hoping that it works. Thanks so much. Bye.